No. 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 My steak. Why can't my fellow Europeans accept the fact that this is a freaking awesome steak? Why can't we just accept it? Why do we still cut this up, grind it down, or throw it in the soup, or whatever we do with it? Why don't we take this steak and just give it a little love, put it in our hearts, just embrace it, like the Americans did? Like, like they do in South America. In South America, they call this entraña a la parrilla. In America, they adopted it. They took it and they grill it and they enjoy it. And here in Europe, we don't. I don't, I don't know, we, either we ship it over there or I don't know what horrible, I don't, want to, I don't want to think about it. Don't put it in the meat grinder, don't do it. Let's talk about it. Let's you and me sit down and talk about this beautiful cut of meat. I'm talking about this, the entrada, the inside skirt steak. Look at this beauty, what a beast. Let me give you the full scope here. This thing is long, isn't it? And it's beautiful. Look at all the intramuscular fat. And when we're barbecuing, we like fat. So if you're not into barbecue, us barbecues, we like fat on meat. And this is what is the right cut with the right amount of fat. And that means the right amount of flavor. So basically, this is absolutely perfect for the grill. And I don't see it. I don't see you guys cooking it. And I'm talking about the Europeans here, not the American. I know you do this, I know. Morrison, did you ever make this at home? No. See, Morrison never made it. And you must, you are kind of like a semi expert already. Yeah, and I, uh, the worst thing is, I know that I love it. And he loves it. He just doesn't grill it. Why not? Because nobody sells it. Because nobody sells it. You're hearing me butchers? Start selling this. Start, start educating people on this. Start informing your customers about this. And let me tell you, in the Netherlands, if they take this off a cow, the price they pay per kilogram is super, super low. So you can make a, a ton load of money, butchers. You can, make, you can be rich selling this stuff. You wanna say something too? See, the dog loves it, in fact. The butchers will love it because there's a good margin to make here. And the barbecuers will love it because it tastes great. And it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I know, I know. I know, it's great. You gotta wait for it to be cooked. It's gonna be easy and we're gonna have fun. And we're gonna eat very, very well. We're gonna eat like royalty. Let's start by getting some seasoning on this beautiful cut of beef. We'll start with half a part table salt, half a part pepper, half a part onion powder, one eighth part garlic powder, one part dried parsley, and one part dried oregano. Mix that all up, put a little bit of oil on the steak to help the rub stick to it, and then when you've got it all rubbed down, you're just gonna let it sit on the board and fire up the barbecue. While our Napoleon kettle grills be getting up the temperature, our steak had some time to marriage with the flavors in our rub. And man, if you could smell this, it already smells good like it is. We, we could eat it right now. But first we're gonna put a sear on. And this is that simple. We're just gonna put that steak on, drape it around the grill and sear it off.
And now maybe boys and girls, you understand what I'm talking about. I'm not talking to any boy and girl, I'm talking to my fellow Europeans. Do you understand this? This thing is something that we need to adopt. We need to adopt the fact that this is a beautiful steak and we can have it on our plates. I want to say every single day, but maybe that's a little bit exaggerating, but like every weekend. It's cheap, it's tasty. Well, we're gonna find out soon, but I bet you it's tasty. And you can make cool things out of it. And all we needed to do was just grill it. Two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, and it's done. And the, the dog's attacking me. No, 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 my steak. <laughs> I didn't train the dog to do that, it's just freaking out. It wants steak and it wants it now. Let's start tasting. It almost looks too tasty. Ah! No? No. Not yet? No. The We're steak first? The steak. All right. A skirt steak has so many textures. And it has these long grains and you cut it against the grain and it turns into like, you got the crunch, you got the texture, you got the rub. It's soft, it's juicy, it's tender. The opposite of filet mignon. Filet mignon is so tender. You can like cut it with a fork. It has a hard time to get a crust and it doesn't have much flavor. This, you gotta cut it with a knife and you gotta cut it against the grain, otherwise it's gonna be chewy, but it has a boatload of flavor and you can get a beautiful crust on it. I kinda like this better than most steaks. I could eat a really expensive Wagyu and still prefer this over that. I said it, it's true. But oh man, do we need to talk to our butchers, our European butchers. Start selling the inside skirt steak. Write it down, write with me, inside skirt steak. Now let's move on to the next level creation that we made. You could let this cool down and put it in your lunchbook, Martian. Is this new? Is this a new thing? This is ancient? Okay, okay, this is a hype. Is this a TikTok hype? It's almost like a tossy, but it's also too beautiful to eat almost. I'm still gonna eat it though. Wow. Steak grilled sandwich. I know I made something really delicious, but come on. This is not, not really delicious. This is like freaking awesome. And what we did, a little bit of salsa, cheese, great steak, mm. put it on barbecue. Mm. It makes me so happy. And the magic appears. We're not making authentic quesadillas. We're making just tasty food. Mm. Oh, no. thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. A special thank you to all the patrons and the YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's sparkling. Keep on grilling. All right. Ah, it's good. Oh.